friends welcome back to sagalvidya.com and myself shivaramakrishna sharma in today's session we are going to have a discussion on strength of materials so this strength of materials is common for civil engineering and mechanical engineering etc so let us have a discussion on strength of materials so under the strength of materials we are going to uh, discuss about uh, simple stresses that is unit 1 unit 2 complex stresses unit 3 SFD that is shear force diagram and BMD bending moment diagram unit 4 pure bending unit 5 shear stress unit 6 torsion unit 7 slope slopes and deflections unit 8 columns and struts unit 9 probed and fixed beams and the last chapter that is unit 10 strain energy theorems etc so on the strength of materials we have divided into 10 units so let us have a discussion on unit 1 that is simple stresses so for our convenience we have divided the unit 1 simple stresses into five lessons lesson 1 that is simple stresses and simple strains lesson 2 stresses and strains in bars of varying si- sections lesson 3 stresses and strains in statically indeterminate structures lesson 4 that is thermal stresses and strains and the last lesson in unit 1 is elastic constants so for our convenience we have divided unit 1 into five lessons So we have divided into five lessons. So let us have a discussion on lesson one. That is simple stresses and strains. So in our lesson number one, that is simple stresses and strains, we are going to deal with elasticity, stresses, strains, and types of stresses and strains. Elastic limit and Hooke's law, deformation of a body due to force acting upon it, and we are going to calculate some numerical problems based upon these things which are mentioned here. So in unit one. the first lesson is simple stresses and strains under this we are going to deal with all these things which have mentioned here so the next very important topic that is uh, elasticity so in order to understand the concept of elasticity let us take a small example so we are having an object here i am going to apply some uniform load on on this object see what happens there is a deflection in the body after removal of uh, external load what happens it regains to its original position so this is the best example for your elasticity so what is elasticity the property of a certain materials of returning back to their uh, original position even after removal of external force or load is called as elasticity so for this let us consider an example as i told you this is an object where we are going to apply some external force or load that is p what happens there is a change in dimensions after the removal of external force what happens it bounces back or return returns to its original position this is the original position of this object so elasticity is a property of a certain materials returning back to their original position even after removal of external force or load on it is called elasticity is called as elasticity So next very important topic in our uh, lesson one that is uh, stresses. So everyone know what is stress in our lower class that is plus one and plus two level. We have discussed that uh, stress. Or we have learned that stress is nothing but simply load acting per unit area. But as we are now dealing with, uh, as we are now in engineering level or diploma level, let us have a scientific or modern approach to our stress. So what is stress? Let, for uh, in order to understand the concept concept of stress, let us take a small example of a body. As we know. body is made, uh, made up of n number of molecules as we know every body in this nature is made up of molecules so this is a body which is having n number of molecules so we are going to apply external load on it so as we apply load what happens deformation of the body takes place so there is a deformation of the body to up to a certain level so we are not what happens these molecules in this body are going to show some external resistance to the load which is acting on it so on the application of load what happens these molecules are going to show or fight against the load means they are showing some resistance towards the load so this is called as stress this is called as stress so every material is elastic in nature so as the body undergoes some deformation its molecules set up some resistance as i told you 
resistance to the deformation this resistance per unit area of deformation is called as strain sorry this is called as stress so the resistance per unit area of deformation is called as stress so and this stress is denoted as sigma sigma is equal to load per area or resistance offered by the molecules per unit area so mathematically it is denoted as sigma is equal to p by a simply load acting per unit area or resistance per unit area of deformation this is called as stress so units of stress so units of stress in sa units units are pascal or simply pa so 1 pascal is is 1 newton per meter square so other units of uh, stresses are newton per mm square also so what are the units for uh, stresses in SI units that is Pascal so 1 Pascal is equal to 1 Newton per meter squared so these are the units for stress so the next very important uh, concept that is strain in our lower classes again you have learned that strain is nothing but uh, change in dimensions by original dimensions or change in length by original length or change in volume by original volume but in this session we are going to see that what is strain again let us bounce back to our uh, previous concept we are having a object or a body which is divided into n number of molecules again whenever there is action of external force or load the body undergoes some deformation so this deformation per unit length is called as strain so what is strain when a force acts on a body it undergoes some deformation as i told you this deformation per unit length is called as strain so for example we are having a body L. So we are having a body of length L. So we are going to apply a load of P kilonewtons. P kilonewtons. So this body is going to undergo some deformation. Means it is going to change its length. So this length is denoted as delta L or delta L. So simply the deformation of a body acts per unit length is called as strain so we can write it as strain is equal to change in length by original length so change in length by original length so strain is nothing but when a force acts on a body it undergoes some deformation this deformation per unit length is called as strain so mathematically it is denoted as detail uh, by l that is nothing but change in length by original length this is called as strain